Alright, good afternoon gamers. It's me, Mellow Moo here. And today we're going to talk about one of the most important tips in SnowRunner. Something I wish I knew when I started the game. Now let's get straight to it. This is going to be cargo overloading. As you can see, right now I'm loading cargo sideways. Uh, what this allows you to do is far exceed the capacity of the flatbed attachment. To use this trick, uh, I highly recommend the flatbed attachment and the cargo crane. That way, you can just use one vehicle for this. If you find this tip helpful, please consider leaving a like, commenting on any other tips you may know, critiquing the video, and subscribing if you find it enjoyable. Now, let's continue watching this footage because there's gonna be some helpful tips on how to drive when you're hauling such a heavy load. Now one of the cool things is, mirrors are still kind of functional for the most part. Not on the right side, but on the left you can see... One of the interesting things about how traction works is when you have more weight pushing you into the ground, more force pushing you into the ground, your traction increases. So what you'll actually see is in places where you don't bottom out, you actually see a boost in performance where you're getting much more grip than you usually do. And now that's because the weight of the cargo is driving the, the wheels deeper into the mud and like getting them to stick more. However, the mud here isn't deep enough to get your chassis stuck. So if you're gonna use this trick, I highly recommend scouting out your routes beforehand. I also highly recommend staying in high gear or switching into the low range gears, especially when you're moving downhill. As you can see here, I'm having to thread a tight gap here. And if I wasn't in low gear, I might have picked up too much momentum from the downward slope and not been able to stop myself. One of the downsides of having so much cargo loaded is you can see here my front wheels which do a lot of the steering don't maintain optimal traction because a lot of the weight's over the rear axles however slowing down turning on diff lock and taking some extra time to traverse these uh, areas saves you time in the long run because you don't need to rent trailers you don't need to bring out multiple trucks and the load being wider surprisingly it's kind of stable. Now here you can see the classic deep mud of Michigan, just tearing through it in high gear with diff lock off. So you can only imagine on other trucks how, how well they would perform here. Now when it comes to handing in your cargo, there's gonna be some extra steps involved because now you're gonna have to uh, jimmy the cargo around, but we'll get to that soon enough. Now let's get to some in-game examples where I'm using this trick to finish a mission in one go. Here you can see I have two loads of concrete blocks and I also have a one slot cargo on the back kind of holding it all in place. Sky's the limit when you're uh, overloading and as you can see here I'm using this truck to just finish this mission in one go. Keeping it in low gear here because on the mountainside, as soon as I switched to um, the automatic gearbox, I started picking up way too much speed. So I would recommend taking it slow and steady when you're overloading cargo because if you tip over, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna alt F4. Let's be real. Going over some uh, treacherous terrain here. and straight into a downhill section. Now here being in low gear greatly helps keep control. As you can see, I'm getting to the end to hand it in and now I just need to unpack and repack all the cargo individually. So this is kind of annoying, this takes some time, but you'll see the extra time you take loading and unloading the cargo versus having to rent a trailer, having to bring that out, getting stuck along the way, having to get a 
second truck, maybe even a third truck to deliver cargo. This will save you hours in the game. As you can see, this mission was finished in one go. Now here's another example. Uh, one of the most important things is to have your routes pre-mapped out. If you know where you're going and you know what obstacles you're running into, nothing's going to stop you. You're not going to run into any unexpected challenges. Here, you can see this gap is just wide enough to let me through. Now, I carefully drive through, but if this gap wasn't wide enough and I hadn't scouted it out in advance, I would have been in a world of trouble and inconvenience. Here you can see another example of how your truck being weighed down actually improves its mud performance. Just uh, powering through this uh, watery mud with cargo. Like I said before, sky's the limit when you're overloading cargo. You could pack on as much as you're comfortable carrying. I've seen people go two stacks high, I've pe seen people go three stacks high. On certain maps, such as Amandra, you'll definitely get punished for this, but some of the recent maps have had um, patches of like paved road and smooth areas of driving that are rewarded to you for scouting out the map and building the bridges around the map. So if you do some extra work beforehand, you can save yourself a lot of hassle when it comes to the missions. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you really enjoyed this and would like to see content like this, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe. I hope everyone has a great holiday season. Bye-bye.